so I just wanted to show an addiction that I've had for a long time and it's these uh, trolley sour crawlers uh, pretty much anything sour like that it's it's been going on for such a long time I'm 31 now and um, and something that came to mind right now, it's it's important to not go to tempta uh, temptation. This is another one of my favorite also. Chili candy, spicy candy. But it's, um, I mean, this is the addiction aisle that I, that I um, frequently go to. And then today I uh, I grabbed the bag of uh, of these over here these um, uh, watermelon uh, the spicy watermelon uh, candy that Mexican candy um, is, like I said one of my favorites but anyhow I'm, as I'm walking through here and when, when I grabbed it I, I said um, I shouldn't do this. Right? And it's, it's, like, it's like an addiction, like any other addiction, right? I shouldn't do this, I know better. And so I go ahead and I grab other stuff, but I still have the bag of candy in my hand. And then I said, okay, finally, I, I, need, to, I need to do this, I need to let this go and, and um, be done with it. And so I came back over here and I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm going to put this down because it's like light and darkness. And it's a spiritual battle, let me tell you. The, the chemicals and the things they put in this candy and who knows what's in it. I can't eat. I, I don't even understand like most of the ingredients that are in there. But yeah, I know it's not healthy. I probably shouldn't eat it. I don't even know what in the world is in there. I can't even read the ingredients. But darkness and light, meaning I had a bag of this watermelon, the spicy candy. And I have my carrots, right? What fellowship does darkness and light have to do with each other? None. And it's what I saw right here. And I said, okay, I have to have self-control. And today, today is the day that I divorce this candy. I mean, I've tried every single kind of candy in here. But my favorite are, are the sour candy, like I said. Sour candy and, and the spicy candy. But today I divorce all of it completely. I divorce it all because, you know, the thing standing between my dreams, right, of um, being a healthy, healthy uh, young man to, to serve Jesus, right, and I, I love doing rock climbing as well, but the thing standing between me and, and my, my dreams and, and, and just serving God to the fullest, honestly, it's this garbage here. Sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this is another one of my favorite candies. And uh, put it, put the video on there. Corn syrup is sugar. There's a lot of corn in, in our food. Drinks also. Corn syrup too. Um, um, it's in sodas. It's in a lot of uh, sugar, sugary uh, drinks. Like, so, some of this stuff, I have no clue at all what what this is. And if you read there, it says artificial flavors. Um, there's coloring in there. Um, I, I mean, sugar right there, corn syrup and sugar. It's pure poison. But then they put there, oh, one gram of protein. Like, oh yeah, that's... Hey, at least there's some protein in there. I've seen videos of bodybuilders, they eat gummy bears. Gummy bears, because there's protein in that garbage. I'm promoting this, this garbage. But it's what the world will do. They will say that which is good, here, that which is good is bad, and that which is bad 
good. Right? Uh, I... It just, um... It just amazes me. Um, but I'm gonna pray and, and, well, I should probably spend less time here in this aisle. And actually, I know where the aisle is. So avoid the aisle. Avoid the temptation. Avoid the sin. Avoid going to that online website. Avoid going to that into that alley or into that or visiting that friend that old friend right because then the drugs the addiction the the, the, the will come back right it, we can't be hanging around these areas and so for me that's it i'm taking off i'm getting out of here as i'm talking in the video it's not a temptation the battle is not when others are here but i mean it, it's when when i'm by myself right that I get tempted to come over here and get one of these, you know, trolleys. And for a long time, I used to say, well, there's nothing bad with that. I mean, if I do it once a week, or, you know, if you gotta treat yourself. I mean, let's look at it this way. This, this is sin. If I look at that as sin, I don't want to partake in it. And here's the thing, I know it's wrong, I know it's bad, it's not healthy for me. It's garbage. So if I look at this garbage as sin, and looking at my Savior, hey, he died on the cross, so, so, so I would live my life and give my life for him for the gospel's sake. In order to save my life, I must be willing to lose it. Right? And, and it's it just for me, it's, it's something spiritual. Maybe for some of you it's not. But I'd rather go with carrots, bananas, and I think these are walnuts that I have here. It's something healthy. And anyhow, just want to encourage y'all. I think, you know what? Something that just popped into mind is these are the choices that we have to be willing to do because the, the stuff they put in the stuff is addictive. It's addictive. I mean, you'll be you'll be driving or you, you'll be... Um, um, doing something that you're like oh you know what i can use a snack and then this garbage pops up to mind it's like oh you know what i'm probably gonna get some of those yeah i'll, I'll get an apple too i'll combine it all together so it won't be as as unhealthy and that's that was my mindset for a long time and and uh, it's been a struggle little by little i've been able to quit this stuff this sugar um that's poison for our, for our bodies for our brain i, I mean like I said, who knows what some of these ingredients are, but they are addictive and they will pop up to mind. Like these things pop up to my mind. Like, oh, okay, I, I um, it's my cheat day or forget cheat days. Jesus never had a cheat day. I don't believe he did. I don't believe it's like, all right, I will serve you, Lord, 364 days, but I get to get one day of the year where I can I can go and um, and uh, have a you know s smoke a cigarette or whatever do some drugs or weed or you know or or I yeah, get to um, fornicate or you know they didn't have cell phones back then so I'm not gonna say that but um, yeah it, it's it's um Jesus full man full God Right, he gave his life for us, and um, all, all he made it so simple. He just he made it so simple, and um, all we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ, and we will be saved. Believe in him, purposely make time to know him. Right, he says in Matthew seven um, seven twenty one through twenty three. Right, not everyone, not everyone who says Lord, 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 will enter into my kingdom, but those who do the will of my Father. Right? What is the will of the Father? Believe in the one He sent, Jesus Christ. Right, those who do the will of my Father who's in heaven. And many on that day will say, Well, we, did, we didn't we do this? Didn't we uh, uh, cast out demons in your name? And I will say to them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Right, um, for I never knew you. He never knew them. Why? Because they were so busy. Doing the works, work, works, 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 uh, work-based salvation. Our works do not save us. It's Jesus Christ. His perfect works at the cross. Our good deeds are like filthy rags. 
Only Jesus saves. I never knew you. He has to know us in order for the Savior to let us into his kingdom in heaven. He has to know us, not us know him. Because, hey, a lot of people know about Jesus. Let me ask you a question, your favorite celebrity, right? Athlete. Do you get into his house because you know the athlete? Because many people know athletes, celebrities. You name them, whoever they are. Do you get into the house because you know them? No. You do not get into their home. They, the heck no, they don't allow anyone, a stranger, to get into their home by saying, Oh, hey, I know you. I've seen you on television. I've seen all your movies. Oh, I've seen all your games or whatever. Or, you know, whatever, whatever that athlete is or that celebrity is, actor. They will not allow you into their home. You're a complete stranger. It doesn't matter how many albums or how much movies you've seen of them or how many posters you have bought of them. It doesn't matter. They will not allow you into their home because you know them and they sure as heck will not allow you to go into their home, their home and have a meal with them or, um, or, or even stay the night. <laughs> they do not know you. If they know you, that's the only reason, the only way that you would even be allowed into that home to even stay there. With that being said, Jesus bless you. Hopefully this causes people to make a change, especially for the uh, holidays, uh, New Year's resolutions. People want to lose weight and, well, have you let go of that garbage that's holding you down, especially sugar. Sugar, more sugar. Have you let go of it? Because the TV promotes it really, really well. So maybe throw away that television that's promoting Coca-Cola. Cristiano Ronaldo, he dislikes Coca-Cola very much. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing.